All right, so with the forks, I'm gonna use this torque wrench that I have here, which has a number readout on it, okay? And I just changed this so it could focus on it. So it has a number readout, as you can see here. And as you apply excess amounts of torque, it changes and it'll go to, uh, well, I use the foot pounds for over here. Usually when I'm tightening, if I'm not mistaken, it goes either this way or this way, one or not two. Anyway, um, you could use Newton meters too. Um, for those of you who use Newton meters, you can use that. So this is what I'll use and I'll go to just over, just over 15. Just over, as you can see there. Okay, really hard for the focus, but um, okay, so now let's tighten the forks and we are going to do them. Basically in sequence, well, a sequence, but we'll do them a little bit at a time, pretty much. Okay? Uh, it's hard for me to see without putting my head in the camera. Alright. Alright, that one is snug. This one is a little bit more... Snugger? Snugger? Is that a word? Alright, and you see, every time I tighten one, the other one, the other one loosens, the other one loosens up a little bit more. Alright, that's about nine. Let me change this view so you can see. Okay, all right, so I just changed cameras and we are just to get this one in. And again, you can see how that slot comes in handy, right? I can't, you won't be able to see the dial gauge moving, but you can see where that slot comes in handy. And then let me show you the let me show you the dial gauge. All right, so the recording. All right, so now I'm gonna, as I get you in there a little bit more. Okay, so as I tighten it, you can see it move. All right, moved a little bit there. Now we will go here. And I'll tighten this one just a little bit more. Okay. We're almost at 15. Almost. Now we're at 15. Okay. And I'll go just a hair past 15. Almost at 15 there. And just a hair a hair past 15 not too much it's a hair because that middle line is so uh, what is that middle line 20. all right so we've did this on this side now you're going to want to go on the other side tie the other side then after that you're going to want to go down okay and you want to do these bolts here, this and this. And if you did loosen these caliper bolts, you're going to want to tighten those two. And you're going to want to torque this and torque this, okay? And those torque specs are in the manual. So once you're all done with all of this, everything's tight, 
you can move on to your, you could actually, you, oh, actually, also, you gotta tighten your fender bolts too. So once you do that and you tighten your fender bolts, then your front end is pretty much done. And you should be good to go. All right, after that is just putting the headlight stuff back on, fairing back on because I had to take all that stuff off and, uh, and you should be good to ride. All right, YouTube, I hope this has helped. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know how this has worked out for you or if it has helped you. All right, guys, take care. Hey, you guys, so one little thing that I actually forgot to show you that they do talk about in the manual the way that you can they say that you could check the forks and check your head bearings or if there's play in the head bearings the head bearing area you can um you can actually grab your forks here damn there's some grease on there forgot to clean that off you can You can grab the you can grab the forks here and just give that a little play like that. And if you get any movement, then they say you know you're gonna have to torque, you have to retorque your head bearings, or you may need to replace your head bearings, or whatever the case may be. But that's also in the manual. You'll see that in there. They actually have a little diagram of a little man shaking on the shaking on the um the bearings shaking on the forks pulling on the forks like that there's a slight push and pull just like that because you just want to see if there's any movement or if there's movement in the forks because this whole unit here should be pretty solid so if you have any movement there then you have an issue and you either need to check your torque or you need to figure out you need to figure out what's going on there okay Hopefully this doesn't look too weird. I'm using my super wide angle for this because I need the audio from the DSLR and a wider angle than what I have. So that's just something I forgot to, to put in there and um, something for you to check on, okay? And um, hopefully this information helps. I hope that this has been helpful in some way.